Hey everyone, it's Dash Attack, and I just wanted to go give some news about the box office because screw Disney. <laughs> That's right. So I uh, this Lightyear movie, I am particularly mad and against its creation. Not because of a gay kiss, not because they replaced Tim Allen, but because they retconned my favorite cartoon growing up as a kid. Holy crap. I am so mad. This is... This is devastation. Like, screw Tim Allen. Screw the like. You know, you know, have it. Have like a freaking like lesbian makeout thing for for all I care. It's Disney. You know, it's like you know, but like this, this is an affront. This is completely devastating. They, you know, I found out you can't even get this cartoon. Like, they don't even have resale of the seasons, you have to find it online. You know, at least the straight to DVD video is still there. Oh, but this is such a crime. They borrowed no inspiration whatsoever, which is why I am so glad it is getting eaten by Jurassic World. A film that was really good, also possibly had a lesbian in it, and it was just it was just fun, you know, it, it didn't, it wasn't like great, it wasn't like, you know, you know, it wasn't better than Jurassic World 1 or Jurassic Park, but, you know, it was serviceable, it respected the legacy of the characters, and I had fun enjoying it. So, yeah, let's see, we have Lightyear getting stomped by Dinos at the weekend box office as Jurassic World Dominion sees 57 plus million. This wasn't supposed to happen. Disney's Lightyear, despite a cinema score of four, is coming in in way under its seven projections with a five fifty one million to fifty five three three day weekend to Universal second weekend of Jurassic World Dominion with a fifty seven million at Jurassic World even reaching six points through four days. Juneteenth holiday weekend. What the hell happened here? Despite the lowest run to tomato score in franchise history, set, certified fresh, it's clear no one is gr in great quantities is going to see the origin story of Buzz Lightyear. Nah, because the cartoon is better. Understand that this is a Pixar movie. I movie have played in close proximity to each other on the calendar before and they both walked away with an embarrassment of riches while we're the spin-offs always open lower it than the core franchise films take fantastic beasts of harry potter oh cope 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 and you know what lightyear needs to make bank because they over because according to this they overpaid the actors for the like you know for they had to overpay chris evans you know instead of tim allen and and they had to get taika watiti oh and their reason for not having tim allen is because this is the real buzz lightyear who inspired buzz lightyear tim allen is buzz lightyear the bull crap bull crap bull crap bull crap it's complete bull crap anyway I am so happy. I, look how colorful this cartoon is. I am going to def the cool robots. Oh, I remember those guys. I remember the brain guy in the jar. Oh, I remember the evil version of XL. Oh God, I, I'm having the nostalgia. Oh, and I, I of course remember her. Oh, how can I forget about her and what she did to Buzz in that one episode? Oh my god, I, I, I can't believe they they got away with that in kids TV back then. They could get away so much in kids TV. Oh man. Uh, 
animation was really good too. I am go I don't care if I have to pirate it. I am going to find all the lost episodes of Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. It is going to be fantastic. Anyway, um I guess that about covers it. Thank you all for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and share the video if you can, and I'll see you next time. Peace.